Broadcasting live from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, you're watching launch coverage of the ICON satellite. Its mission? To study the meteorological frontier where Earth meets space. On your screen is the Pegasus XL rocket, which contains ICON. Approximately 15 minutes from now, this rocket will launch NASA's latest Earth science mission off the eastern coast of Florida into a very unique and unexplored area of space. Hello everyone, I'm Jennifer Wolfinger, and thanks for joining us for this highly anticipated launch. The Ionospheric Connection Explorer, or ICON for short, will help scientists understand the physics of our space environment, as well as protect our communication satellites and astronauts while they're in orbit. The Stargazer took off from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station about 45 minutes ago. You can see it there on your screen, with the Pegasus attached to its belly. This aircraft, the world's op only operational air launching system, is a mobile launch platform that can be deployed from anywhere in the world. If I understand correctly, Malcolm, it sounds like we're having a challenge communicating with the plane, is that correct? Uh, that's what it sounds like, what they're working through the checklist, and, uh, and we'll see a resolution here, hopefully, very shortly. And launch team, launch team, we're going to abort, abort, proceed to the abort checklist. LC, Senior MIFCO, countdown uh, L-1011 is in the box. Three, two, one, drop. Pegasus away. Vehicle is fully armed. Ignition. Stage Pegasus one ignition XL has been confirmed. Launching ICON to explore and unlock the mysteries of the weather where Earth meets space. Through transonic, power buses remain strong. Stage one fin actuator system is operating nominally and controlling the aerodynamic flight of the vehicle. Coming up on 30 seconds into the ICON mission. Stage one has burned out. Attitude and the flight path are nominal. Stage one separation confirmed. Stage two ignition has been confirmed and attitude is nominal. Stage two TVC is operating as expected to control the flight of the vehicle. Approximately 20 seconds until fairing jettison. Fairing deployment has been confirmed. Both halves have been separated. Vehicle attitude remains nominal after fairing separation. Power buses remain strong with excellent margin. Stage two motor burnout, attitude remains nominal. At this point in the mission, the vehicle enters a long ballistic coast phase uh, as it gains altitude, waiting for uh, the proper time to ignite the stage three motor. Stage three TVC is online. Stage two has been separated. go um, some really great calls there so we just heard that's the round out of the second stage finish, finishing its job and the third stage beginning its task moving forward vehicle is now in orbit all right a phenomenal call there stage uh, three burnout confirmation attitude remains nominal looks to be an on target orbit for icon we did confirm separation through the uh, spacecraft tedris uh, link um, the orbits look fantastic, and uh, currently um, they're power positive, so uh, everything looks fantastic for us.